Hey, love bugs, it's Ross. We're back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored, and I definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my growing extended family, thank you so much for just opening up your hearts as well as your minds to the different possibilities of how your life can go in a peaceful, beautiful life. And for that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already, what are you waiting for? Like and subscribe. You can hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And if you feel like you're comfortable enough, go ahead and drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Or even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video. Or even if you're just opening up and telling me about your empathic gifts and how it is it has impacted your life in a positive way or has gotten you towards a positive way. And if you feel like the video has gave you good vibes or has had, had good insight and you feel like you want to pass it on to a loved one or friend, go ahead and do so. And as well as go ahead and give me a thumbs up, like, and even share on your social media favorites. And thank you so much for stopping by my channel and I hope you're able to get something out of the content of my video. And the peaceful music I am listening to today, I've been finding some really good meditations, y'all. And it's called Destroy Unconscious Blockages, Fear, Cleanse, Self-Doubt, Freedom from Subconscious Negativity. Oh my goodness, that, if that is not perfectly said, I don't know what is. <laughs> but um, yeah, my video today is about Twin Flame 101. Hey, Opus, when you felt like the odds were against you, when you felt the odds were against you, it's just like we, when we go through things and we go through mishaps and trauma, it could be from childhood, it could be um, from a emotional abuse, mental abuse, sexual abuse, just any kind of negativity that has scarred us to a certain point where we felt like we weren't getting out of it. And there was times where, you know, I went through my things and even though I truly don't understand um, why it had to happen the way it happened, but then yet I do, you know, it makes some kind of sense, but it's just like, gosh, I knew it had to be something, you know, for us to both you know, when it comes to me and my family, both, you know, out there sending out love and light, even through our pain and our sorrow, we were still able to persevere, you know, and I really felt like the, you know, I was really having to fight against the odds, but it was just like, I had to see my true self for who I really was, the strength that I felt like I never had. I found it through things that was meant to break me was meant to tear me down I mean there was like I told y'all there's days where I cried I pulled my hair out there's days I went days without eating you know um to the point where I worried myself sick you know hair fell out you know weight juggled up and down it was just like days where I didn't feel like living well enough alone getting out of the bed and it's like each day became easier and easier to deal with you know even though there's times where I get sad and I'll have my crying moments where I'm still grieving over my dad and just wanting that physical presence of him to be around even though I feel him spiritually each and every day and it's like when I miss him you know he'll he'll know that because I'll hear him in the back of my head like singing a certain song that he knows that is resonating with me at that moment so it's just like those are blessings that I have to really cherish, you know, and I know y'all probably hear me say that I'm humble, and I, I really am, it's like everything that I went through, I knew it served a, a beautiful purpose, and I got lessons out of them where I felt like, you know, when I looked at things, that there were days I got angry and said, you know, this is never, you know, I'm never going to get through this, I, you know, there's days where I just, I didn't want to live anymore, I don't even want to feel this anymore you know smoking marijuana just you know to get the voices out of my head get all the different emotions I was dealing with with myself as well as you know magnifying with others along the way and it was just like me being able to embrace my gift and accept my darkness as well as my light being able to not worry about what people thought about me and how they were going to take me just thinking that you know you know even though people have left me and I was, I felt very abandoned and neglected, you know, I gave myself that strength to be my own best friend, you know, there was days where I didn't even want to be alone with my thoughts, I always had to be around somebody, and it's now, I'm like my best friend, I'm like, shoot, I love hanging by myself, and it's fine, I can actually be with myself, and that's 
when you know you're in that oneness, especially if you're a twin flame, you're, you're actually seeing things like you and your twin flame are aligned. So it's just like a beautiful feeling when I felt like the odds were against me and I was able to surpass all my tragedies. Even though I still grieve at times, you know, it, it's becoming better with time. So it's just like when you're going through a loss of a loved one, you know, uh, griefment never has an expiration date on it. You have to be able to just know that the person that you're missing is in a truly better place, you know, where there's no worries, no pain, no sorrow, you know, even though they might, they might get upset by seeing you upset, that's not how they want you to remember them, you know, and I know that's not how my dad wanted to remember, you know, wanted me to remember him, I have to you remember the good times, even though I, it was through dreams or just through visions or thoughts, you know, I was able to hold those dear and get, you know, get through it with those those special moments that I shared with him. So it's just like when you're getting through stuff and, you know, you can finally see that light at the end of the tunnel, knowing that the universe and God was not punishing you. You just had to go through things to get to it. You know, when you had to lose your mind, you had to go back and find it and put the pieces together the way they were actually supposed to be. So you can find that piece of the puzzle. You can find happiness within yourself. You find that love within yourself. Find, you know, comfort and confidence. And that's a beautiful feeling that I found within myself. And it's just like, you know, as well as, you know, I, I get so many people telling me how much they thank me and they appreciate the things that I do. But you don't realize just for the things that I'm, you know, I'm putting in my videos, you're actually helping me heal as well. You know, it's just to let me know I'm doing my job. I'm, you know, I'm making a positive purpose for people that have been through really messed up things that they really thought that they were not going to overcome. So it is a blessing when I can be able to contribute that happiness towards somebody, give them that validation, just to know that you're not the only one going through these things. You are not the only one that's sensitive to things. You might see things that other people don't see. You might see them a certain way that other people might not see. So it's a blessing to actually have people on the same level or, you know, just align with you to know that, you know, there's somebody else out there just like you. So I hope you were able to resonate with this video. You found kind of some kind of peace or validation, you know, with the res you know, with the with the resignation of the video. And, you know, send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. Drop me a line, you know, give me a thumbs up, like and even share, and even hit that notification button and subscribe so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. Send out as love much love and positivity as you possibly can. Know that you are truly loved and highly favored and very blessed. And know there is always somebody out there praying for your better days. So I hope you're enjoying your weekend. Stay safe, stay blessed, and stay prosperous. And if you're blessed, go ahead and send it out to the next person. You'll get double blessings that way. So I will see you on my next video.